Good day, everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on the sim as long as needed before you start going live. Uh, we will cover a couple of three auto trades. There are uh, two, three different auto trades. Uh, on the blue charts here, as you see, uh, on the ES, we have an entry signal automated for 42.26.50, target 42.33.50, 22 ticks into the profit based on the last entry signal, not the whole day. The market analyzer is based on one contract, it is 262. On the chart here, we are using two contract, and we are using the FIB line on a trailing stop, which will be double the amount. On the NASDAQ, uh, we have uh, 47 ticks based on the last entry signal, 220, here is double 440. On the YM, we have an entry at 3,000, it's been a long day, 34,252, target 34,340. And as you see here, we have one contract, 350, and this is a 350. The left upper corner, the market analyzer is connected to the blue chart. And the white chart here on the market analyzer, they are connected to the 15 second, and the 15 second, you can see it here. The 15 second entry, and this one here, one contract, and here one contract, 450, here is 450. Here is the entry price, 13,949, target 13,976, and then where is the target? At the same time, we have different system, also can give you warning to sell. This is the auto trade, and took the trade, Feb line as a trailing stop target. At the same time, we have a different system can give you some warning to take a profit. The reason for that, if you look here, there is a heavy resistant coming in. And when there is a heavy resistant, there is a good potential for this market to drop down to the 965. So this is another layer of warning system you can also override the auto trade and close position and protect the profit. This is very clever. At the same time, we're the only company have this. If this market start trending, and as you see here, the market, um, you can see how the market is extended the target and recalculating and, and uh, extending the target automatically. We are the only company we're able to do that when we are measuring the trend and we find there is more potential to the upside or to the downside, the target start readjust itself automatically. So as you see here, look at this. Now it is on 977, now it's 925, now it's 978. And what happened when it comes to the critical area, the auto trade start chasing the target, trying to maximize the trade. And that is a very, very clever, the way we have done that. Uh, we're going to cover uh, one of the uh, newest auto trade we have called the Precision Automated Trade. Uh, some of them, they did go on a second round, it hit the target and then reactivated for one more round. Uh, this is, uh, I really like this uh, new auto trade, the Precision Automated Trade, and this is uh, the NASDAQ three minutes, and uh, that is the last trade actually for today. And then what we are going to do, we're going to start closing position and a close position. And uh, target was 1140. Uh, this is uh, the NASDAQ, it's uh, on the ticks. Is doing a good job as well. DAX 
we close in it done Nasdaq 39 second I'm I'm enjoying those uh, small time frame they are easy to handle and extreme accurate entries this is the Nasdaq 39 why are we using the smaller time frame in case the market is a flat you don't bump into a lot of problems you just able to break even and potentially hit the target if it's possible and that is uh, the YM uh, this is 230 ticks and then um, this is uh, also it was uh, on the other channel live today again the 10 second we hit it right away and uh, we were done by 11 o'clock and we started the first trade the first trade was at 10 o'clock and done by 11 o'clock and it was very very nice trade cl also uh, we are testing how accurate it is on the seconds and uh, it is very impressive it is extremely impressive uh, accurate entries accurate exit 1800 and that is only on 22nd not too many auto trades can survive seconds he has three minutes he can scalp or swing trading also on the precision automated trade and the YM uh, he has 25 second again when the market is flat and you are using the seconds you can you have some potential hit the target early and call it off for today CL and uh, CL again and for some reason uh, the the precision auto trade is uh, doing extremely well on the CL and uh, also maybe I forgot to show you uh, this is also second on the YM and um, done by one o'clock stayed on that trend done by one o'clock and it was only 24 seconds one of the pot potential on the on those uh, small time frame you don't need to use a lot of uh, high time uh, a lot of uh, takes for stop loss so they are a very potential um, for winning when you are not using a high stop loss it depends how you want to scalp or if you wanted to swing trade or you want to trade smaller time frame you can do that we're gonna show one more auto trade and call it off with just a little snap of it uh, the ti7 for ninja trader 8 okay this is a total different type of an automated trade with a different algorithm this one here is a bit bigger has 10 different entries 10 different filters you can swing trade you can approach any instruments it is a huge auto trade so there is a difference between simple like this one here one entry and everything is packed in so you don't have too much to deal with uh, tweaking auto trades to the advanced trading with the latest technology where you can scalp swing trading this one here uh, here is the thing is what what works on the ES with filters and entries does not really necessarily works on the Nasdaq and what is work on the Nasdaq anyone is auto trading knows that one entry cannot take the whole market not in 2021 maybe 20 years ago was different ball game but now because of the internet and the prices has smoothed out a lot not like it used to be um, you cannot just take one entry approach every single instrument the russell the nasdaq the dow jones es cl dax you know um, so you will find out when you are using this kind of auto trade that every instrument have its its own entry and its its own filter 
you know each one is works with a different magic actually so um, the ti7 is for ninja trader 8 is um, for a guy want to take out any instruments and and uh, cut it the way he wants it whether he wanted to scalp it he can scalp there is an aggressive trades there is conservative trades and uh, it works on all kind of different time frames from minutes to takes to range now we start showing takes and range because we have some people asking for that so we start showing that uh, you don't have to be committed to the minute I like minutes but maybe not everyone likes minutes I respect that so the Nasdaq did very well there is a still some trades in there also the same principle you like it you want to call it off ready for a nice weekend you just say close position and it is done actually we should have been done on that long time ago but we had one losing trade at the end of the day so that's life welcome to trading uh, YM ES and now just close this one and this one is still missing five dollars if you look uh, the all of them one thousand dollar daily target you can put it 500 if you want to it's uh, you can put it 750 whatever you can adjust it yourself and uh, we are missing five dollars on that trade that just closed uh, there is eight hundred dollars on this one here and we're gonna close it we are 850 we are short out on 150 that's fine close position CL YM YM CL and ES one minute and there is uh, NASDAQ 520 so uh, we still have a couple more charts open we're gonna leave him a few more minutes before we shut him down folks that's all what we have and uh, we we wish you a really pleasant weekend and uh, god bless everyone thank you very much and uh, see you next week bye for now